Hello friends. I hope you are all doing well. In today's video, we will see how to install a media server. For this, we will use an application called Jellyfin. So let's get started. Today, we will install the Jellyfin application inside a Synology NAS server. To do this, we first log in to our server. From there, we go to the package center, select all packages, and search for Jellyfin. Here, you can see that we have found Jellyfin. After giving the install command, it is asking for permission to install two additional supporting applications. In this case, we will click yes to grant permission. Then, we will wait until these applications are installed. Here, you can see that after the download is complete, the installation of our Jellyfin server is finished. Now, let's start setting up the Jellyfin server. First, you will set it up by entering a username and password. You can see that our Jellyfin media server installation is complete, but the directory setup is still pending. So, let's set up a directory where we will store our movies. We have now created a shared directory on the server separately so that I can always understand where and how I am storing my movies. Now, we need to assign permissions to the shared folder we created for movies. In this case, I will grant permissions to both the applications I just installed and my own user ID. Here, you can see that I am opening the newly created folder from the control panel under shared folder. Now, I am editing the permissions, ensuring that each application can access this folder. I will create a permission setup accordingly. I have added permissions for the two supporting applications that were installed along with Jellyfin. This is because these applications may need access to these files when required. Now, we will download a movie file and add it to our destination folder to see how it works with our server. First, we will download a movie file from another movie server. For this, I have opened an application called Download Station. I will copy the movie file link from the website and paste it here for downloading. Once the download starts, the movie will be automatically saved in our destination folder. So, while the movie is downloading, let's go ahead and set up our media library to complete the process. Now, it's asking us to add a folder. Here, we will add the Jellyfin folder that we created earlier. This folder is located inside Volume 1. Once all the setup is complete, we will log in to our main server using the password, and our server will be ready for use. Now, let's check whether our movie has been loaded successfully. Here, we can see that our movie has not appeared yet. So, let's check the download progress to see how much has been updated. It seems that the download is not yet complete, which is why the movie is not showing up in our media library yet. After waiting for some time, we can see that our movie has been downloaded. Now, let's check our media server to see if the movie has appeared there. Let's take a look. We can see that the movie is still not showing up on our media server. So, let's go to the media server dashboard and either search for the movie or scan the directory to check if there are any errors. We will try to identify if there is any issue preventing the movie from appearing and work on resolving it. We can see that the directory scanning has started, and we expect to find our movie there. Let's check how the movie is being displayed on our server. That's it for today. If any of you have any questions or if there's anything you didn't understand in the video, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know if you encountered any issues or couldn't understand something. We will try our best to provide solutions through the comments.